Okay, downloading the music video they sent through Frame.io. This new client just sent me a commercial through Dropbox. Why did they put that name? Okay, the Google Drive link for the event. Oh, I told them to just send the videos. Finally, this OneDrive footage is downloaded. <laughs> and all files are corrupted. In this video, I'll show you the best way to receive files from clients, collaborators, or anyone that needs to send you any kind of media online. So you can manage everything in one place, automate your workflow, and keep yourself organized. Hi everyone, Alex from Massive here. As a remote freelancer, I receive files from multiple clients all the time. And it's a pain to deal with all of these different sources and manually deal with all of these different files. So if you are a remote editor, colorist, sound engineer, etc., you need a simple and efficient way to receive files. And ideally, these files arrive quickly and without error so you can get on with your assignment. So in this video, I want to show you how to set up a massive portal so you only need to go to one place to get all your files and best of all, get them super fast and keep them organized. You haven't heard of massive portals yet? Let me introduce you. A massive portal is the fastest universal file uploader you can use. It works great for any kind of media workflow. If you're a film production company or a TV station, the camera team can send footage to the post team and they can start working immediately. If you're running a contest, all participants can send their submissions to one place following your rules. If you're a sports team and want videos or pictures from your fans, you can embed the portal right in your webpage, where anyone can submit their user-generated content. Let's see how to set up your personalized portal. But first, if you don't have it already, you need a massive account. It only takes a few minutes to sign up for a free trial. I'll leave you a link in the description box. Go sign up and I'll wait for you here. All right, done. Let's start. Okay, we're here in the main page of your massive account. On the left menu, navigate to request files with portals. Click on the button labeled new portal and a new window will appear. You can select instant portal, which will allow you to create a default portal that you can start using immediately, or you can select a custom portal, which will allow you to customize your portal so you can add your branding and your own file upload rules. Let's select the custom one to show you all the possibilities you have. Here we are in the general section of our portal. First, we have the domain. This is the web address and link that you will send to your clients and uploaders. Let's write here just a made-up name, Galactic Productions. Second field is name. This is the portal name that will appear on your Massive account. So if you use multiple portals for different projects or clients, you can easily recognize which one is for which purpose. I'm going to name this one Film Dailies. Next, we have Email Recipients, which is optional. Everyone added here will be notified when someone uploads material to this portal and will be able to download it. Now, down here we have message. This will be shown at the top of the portal and is a message for your uploaders. This section is optional as well. You can add your company tagline or just a simple, welcome, please upload your files below. Next, we can assign team space. Inside the Massive app, you can create team spaces for specific projects and add specific collaborators to a team. If you assign a team space to your portal, all the members that belong to it will receive a notification and can download files uploaded to the portal. If you want to know more about team spaces, I'm going to leave you a link in the top right corner and in the description box. It's a step-by-step -step guide on how to create and work with team spaces. Okay, right after team spaces, we have tags. Tags can be assigned to facilitate better package tracking and searching. You can create them in the Massive app or right here immediately. Let's add the tag Films. In the next field, you can specify the maximum number of days the files will be stored in the portal before they are deleted. Next, we have this checkbox that says you will receive an email confirmation when someone uploads files to this portal. So let's leave it checked. To finish, for an extra layer of security, 
you have the option to set up the portal as private and enable password protection for uploads and downloads. In a private portal, you can specify who is able to view and download the contents of the portal. Let's move on to the next step, rules. Here, you can set up specific parameters your uploaders have to follow to successfully upload files to your portal. First, we have terms of service. Here, you can add a legal agreement, a disclaimer, or ask users to give you permission to use their uploaded videos. In the title field, as an example, I'll write copyright permission. In the description, I'll add a summary. Then, in the label field, I'll write I accept. This is the text that will appear next to the checkbox users must check to agree to the terms. There's also the link to URL, which is optional. If you want, you can use this feature to add a link to the full legal agreement or more info for the uploaders. The terms of service will appear before users can access the portal, and users have to agree to the terms to get access. Next, we have file specifications. You can use this tool to enable a maximum package size, which sets an upload limit for the whole package. You can set your limit in megabytes, gigabytes, or terabytes. Just remember the maximum size is for the whole package and not for each file. You can also set the specific file types that are accepted for uploading. Write a period, then the file format. The portal will now only allow these file formats to be uploaded. Next, we have package name format. Here, you can set naming conventions for your uploaders. This applies to the whole package, not each asset, remember. In the label field, write the actual name format you want. For example, I'm going to write this format. Date, underscore, name, underscore, and number. Then we add the regex value. This is an expression that configures the naming convention I want. Click on Learn More for a list of regular expressions you can just copy and paste into your portal rules. There are also many regex generators online you can use to specify your name format. When users type the package name in the portal, they will automatically see the name formatting they need to follow. Finally, in the rules section, we also have portal expiry. This allows you to disable a portal at a specific day and time, so nobody can upload anything to it past that date. If you want more info about file upload rules in massive portals, check out this link in the top right corner or the one that I'm leaving you in the description box below. Next step is look and feel. This one gives you the customizations you need to make the portal uniquely yours. You can add your logo that will appear on the portal header. I'm going to add this made up logo for my Galactic Productions company. Also, you can add a background color or image that represents your brand or the project. Let's put this image I have here of a nebula in space. And of course, you can choose your brand colors for the portal. This purple will look good, yes. Moving on to cloud integrations. Here you can connect your portal to other cloud services such as cloud storage or media asset management platforms, enabling automatic uploads and ensuring a smooth workflow. I have added Frame.io already, but there are many different cloud storages options like Amazon S3, Azure, Dropbox, and many, many more. You need to add these cloud storages from the cloud integration tab in the site menu first, so they can show as an option. Then you can connect them to your portal. Last but not least, we have custom forms. Here you can add even more parameters and fields for your users to complete. This is optional as well, but it gives you the exact fields you need for your specific use case. And that's it. Click save and you have your personalized portal that you can send to everyone who needs it. In the main portals page, you will see a list of your portals where you can send upload request, copy the portal link, modify the portal, duplicate it or embed it, disable it, delete it, and perform other tasks. One more time.
thank you so much for watching my friends. Hopefully by now you know how to easily receive files from clients and cater your uploads to your liking. Let me know in the comments when you try a massive portal. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so we can bring you more videos on ways to improve your professional media workflow. I'll leave you now with this video about the best cloud storages for video that you can find right now and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!